Well, hello there, and thanks for waking up to Sunrise at Sea. My name is Kira Natozo. And if you're just joining in, you're just in time for our views, you may have missed a few segments in our thoughts segments earlier however i don't want to miss what we have in stock for you and if you i would want to talk about uh, the fashion beat hit and miss that sarah and siobhan just did and i saw some fashion statements and i was like wow <laughs> at his studio you know they put you actually here laughing at the usual suspects and that's siobhan sandra and sarah good morning ladies good, good morning, morning. How are you? good what was that about with with the green leg it looked like the green uh, thingy. Uh, Rita Ora's jacket. That dress. It the dress was hideous. <laughs> <laughs> that was a definite miss for me. <laughs> miss. Mm -hmm. I loved Steve Harvey. I loved Steve Harvey yes, and the white yes, look. Yes, they yes. look so amazing. But Shivan, you didn't like it. You said I loved it. Changed my point. mind. I looked at the picture after. I loved it so really? much. Really? You're so fickle. <laughs> I loved Celine's look. Yes. Oh, yeah. Celine looks she amazing. She came correct. <laughs> Oh, yeah. Anyway, uh, to, kick, to kick off this conversation, now yesterday, as I was scrolling through social media, yeah, I happened to, festive season is closed, you know, it's coming by and so many things are actually happening. And uh, one of the things that actually happened to bump into was this gentleman that proposed to a lady and she turned him down. So today, ladies, I'm going to ask you, yeah, if a man proposed to you and you say no, does that mean the relationship is over? Yeah. <laughs> no, Why? Well, right, right. Yes. If let me let, let me put it this way, if I propose to a man, which I'll definitely never do, and they uh, said no, yes, I'll definitely never propose to a man. Right. And they said no, obviously the relationship would be done. So why are we dating? The reason I am dating you, me, I personally, when I am dating you, I am looking at other goals. I'm not looking at short-term goals. So if mm. you propose to me <laughs> and I say no, that means I do not want to settle down with you. That means I'm trying elsewhere. For me, it's if, 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 if the proposal is a no, I'm definitely walking out of the relationship. I don't agree. Bitter truth. I don't agree. Mm, I don't I agree don't, with that, you, Shifan. That's my opinion. I <laughs> think it depends on a lot of things. First of all, it depends how long have you dated. Yeah. Yeah? Maybe you've just dated a year. Yeah? Mm. And, uh, and I always say this over and over. Outline the reason you want to be with somebody and then manage it. Yeah. Yeah. Mm. So if at the beginning of the relationship you said, you know what, I'm going to date you, but after two years, if we, you have not taken it to the next level, mm. then I'm out. Yeah. So basically, like, and have you moved in together as well? Mm. Because if you move in together, that's like on another level of uh, dating or courting or whatever. Yeah. So if somebody has moved in with you and you've been living together like for four or five years, and then they propose and you say no, then there, of course, you'll be like, okay, so what are we doing? Mm -hmm. Yeah, why am I here? It's been four years. But maybe it's like been two years down the line and you have other aspirations. Maybe you're still chasing your career. Yeah. Especially, especially for a woman, I would say. Because once you get married, then you have to have kids. You have like, Sarah was a stay-home mom for three years. So there are so many things to consider. Yeah. And that's why a woman would say, you know what? No, it doesn't necessarily mean that she's looking elsewhere or she wants somebody else. Maybe mm. she, she wants to be in the relationship, but she's just not there yet. Yeah. So maybe for the man also, maybe he's not financially stable mm -hmm. yet because men love to take that next step when they feel financially secure because you're going to take care of a home and a family or maybe his career is not where he wants to be yet. Yeah. yeah. So I don't, necess I don't necessarily think it's black and white like that. Sarah, what do you have um, to Number one, getting married is, uh, is no joke. It's very serious. Yeah. Yep. It's a very, very serious commitment. And to get out of it when it doesn't work out is also a very, very serious situation. So I don't think, I don't think that a relationship should end after somebody rejects a proposal. Mm. But like Sandra has said, there could be reasons. Very true. It could be you're not ready mm. yet for this commitment. Could be you have other aspirations. You are trying to chase a career. You're trying to finish school fast. Mm. It could be you're pregnant and you don't want to be pregnant in a wedding dress. You understand what I mean? Yeah. No, you don't like, want to have that way. Yes, yes. very true. true. Yeah. You don't want to look pregnant in a wedding dress. Um, it could be you're not yet financially secure. I don't think it should end a relationship. Mm. But why some people would think, would feel that the relationship should end after somebody rejects a proposal, it's just because their feelings have been hurt. Yeah. 
you understand what Very I mean? True, yeah. it's the, and it is valid because you f rejection is really a tough because, pill mm, to yeah. swallow. Yeah. Being rejected when somebody says no, and especially when you have been rejected in front of everybody. That's that is, different. It's, it's very important to have uh, private proposers. Never <laughs> assume that they're going to <laughs> say yes. Yeah. You Never as wear the ring and then go and be like, but honey, you know what? I'm going to wear this ring, but you know, I'm not yet actually ready. Can we postpone this to like maybe five months from now? Mm. That's also something else that you would consider. Yes, there is that also, but this is the, that there is that, but I am of the view, do not accept a proposal if it's if not what you are absolutely yeah. certain about. Mm. Mm. And uh, I believe that public, not believe, I believe, yes, let me use that word. I believe that public proposals are a form of emotional blackmail. I think so as because well. Because when you public do it, proposes, right? yes, yes. Because when you do it in front of everybody, mm. the other person, the person who is being proposed to, may be afraid to say Why? no. The Why would you? Because there is pressure. You do not want pressure. to embarrass the person proposing to yeah, you. It's humiliating. Actually, I wouldn't. I wouldn't want to. Oh it is. It, it is. really is it because is. you I would do prefer a public one. No, no I <laughs> that's the that. thing. You are preferring <laughs> it now, but imagine in the case where somebody, somebody who you are not certain of I would spending gladly the rest say no. I am not pressured. It is. It is a different how, thing. How long does it take you before? How long do you think a person should actually propose? Because you're saying uh, it depends for a person to propose. So how long does it take for? You? Is it one year, two years, three years? If we have been dating for more than a year, you're saying you'd actually say six no. months and a year, then we'll definitely go. But also six within months. that, yeah, six, six months, months or a year. Okay. Six, between six months and a year, if you propose, I would say yes. But also, if you propose before then, I would still put on the ring and tell you, can we push this further? That's what I'm saying. Like, you can actually, because a proposal is like, they're literally giving you an engagement ring. So you could wear it. I've had friends who have worn the engagement rings for two years, and they choose to push the marriage after when the woman or the man is ready. Because literally what the man is doing is probably he's booking you. He's saying, I want to be with you. A booking? What, <laughs> what is that? <laughs> no, 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 What? This is a thing. I have been, I have seen situations where people are dating. And probably the lady is going abroad to study. My cousin was going abroad to study. And her man said, you know what? I'm going to give you an engagement ring. Not as a way of tying you down, but I want you to know that even as you're going, you're going to come back home to me and we're going to get married. Aww. So they remained, she remained, yes, she studied there for two years. And when she came back uh, in, in the third year, in the second month, they got married. So she had the engagement ring for two years. Mm. It wasn't as bad as people make it to look because some people would say you fall out of love, but no. So she had the ring as a sign of commitment. She accepted it and two years after down the road, they got married. So that's what I'm talking about. Mm. So I would accept your ring and maybe say, uh, can we extend the wedding? But the engagement is okay. I don't mm. know if you understand where I'm coming I, from. I get where yeah. you're coming from. Uh, Sandra also said something that if you're living together, <laughs> then that means it's the, the relationship. How is it different? It's different. Yeah, I, think, I think we need to stop putting conditions on love or relationships. Just because I have said no, how is it different because I'm living with you? Hey. I've probably said no because maybe that morning of the engagement, <laughs> you annoyed me. <laughs> And we first have to address that <laughs> situation. Why didn't you no. pack your things and leave my house? Maybe that morning <laughs> you annoyed me and now you have, you're trying to, I don't know, to make up for it in some for way. Your, for your so sins. now I need to know that is this proposal actually coming from the heart? Ah, or are you trying to make up know. for the fact that you have annoyed me? <laughs> but I'm just sure your I'm sure so I understand. So we go home after I say no. We, go, we talk about it. I'm like, okay, fine. This is my issue. This is why I'm not saying yes now for this, 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 and this. I don't think it should dictate. It's, I it should don't dictate. Think it, it should dictate, dictate. I know. Because some people will be like, okay, you're living in my house. You've said no. So, okay, when I get home, make sure you are out of my house. No. Uh, still talk about it. Like, for real. Let's have real life food. conversations. No. You are no, not. <laughs> why do we put so many conditions to relationships or marriage? Why do we put up so many conditions? Because you mm -hmm. have said no now does not mm -hmm. mean it's not going to be a yes in a few weeks or a few months or maybe a few years. Yeah. Now, I would love to, to quote uh, uh, in a journal that I actually read over the weekend. And uh, this, for, this is from A Rules of Engagement, uh, written by a lady called Lisa B. Hopler. 
Hoplock, who highlighted one of the reasons as to why proposals actually fail. And one of the things she actually hinted on was the fact that uh, a proposal being public. So Siobhan, chances are that, okay, you say you'll actually accept, you know, because you feel bad for this no, person. No, no, no. I'm not. You say you will accept it, yes. and then you go home, yeah. and then let's be like, you know what? Let's talk about let's it. Let's talk about it. Let's but yes, this lady says uh, statistics actually show that 85% proposals that are actually public tend to fail. Mm -hmm. Yeah, mine shall not fail. <laughs> <laughs> Amen to that. Amen to that, Shivan. <laughs> then uh, she says uh, the second reason as to why couples fail. She says forty percent couples that never discuss marriage proposals. Like if you've been dating someone for quite some time and uh, getting married has actually never been uh, in your yeah. conversations. Mm. Chances are, if the person proposes, exactly, they're going to they're going to turn you down because there are men who you just pop the question like you've never introduced me probably to your parents like it's just coming out of nowhere there needs to be a process like yes. you can always tell a man who is headed for proposal what well, you can you can always actually tell me i always tell How and do when you i tell? when i'm able to tell if i'm ready <laughs> sarah if we were able to tell some of us would have been married thank you come, and come and talk to me here. come and talk to me <laughs> Well, another thing she says are uh, ten percent uh, couples that have actually never dated before, yeah, have chances of actually failing. Oh, I've never Maybe dated. Maybe have actually never been on a date. Like yeah. you said, you may be dating someone for one year, two years. You don't know the inner circle. You don't know the parents. You don't know the family. So yeah, exactly. Yeah, chances mm. are that this proposal is actually not going to to happen. Yeah. yeah? Mm -hmm. And then she also says. Um, the, the couples that had not been dating for many years, when you went back, when Sarah, actually, sorry, Sandra hinted and said, um, two years, you know, usually most people actually have dated for two years, and that's when a man tends to, to propose, yeah? Yes. And she actually okay. emphasizes that on average, okay. people who tend to get married, yeah? Mm. The, by the time a man proposes to you, you've been dating for two and a half years, yeah? Two and a half years or four and a half years. So. Yes. yes. Four and a half. Okay. <laughs> what? <laughs> yes. And then she says that um, the, man, the man doesn't have, if a man doesn't have a ring, yeah? You know a man may say, can I marry you, but he doesn't have the ring? 8.5 times the woman says no. Yeah. If Why you would you say, would you marry me without a ring? What are you doing? Maybe I'm still saving no, up. No, then wait to serve and get your money. What? What? I don't understand. How would you come and tell me? Shivan, may you please marry me? And I'm putting my ring on. Hey, babe, you know what? I don't have the ring, but it's just a question. But like, what please. if he can't afford the then ring? He, yes. Then he should wait. No, 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 no. <laughs> I mean, so some of our parents, yeah? And they were together for years. My Thank mom you. never wore a wedding ring. Men those days were Yes, were and they were honest. together. What are you trying no, to like say? Like my father couldn't <laughs> afford it when they were much younger. Yeah. And then when they just grew older, you know, we, we, we were... We were many kids yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah school this this that so it was just never important for her uh. she's like you know what i'm with my family i'm with him i love him i don't need to wear a ring uh. to to prove to prove so she she never wore a ring I don't and she that. never felt but she never felt any less of my my father's wife because I, I, all the money had to come to us there was so much but going on. i don't in my case i wouldn't say that a ring it is it is it is a priority to me. If if you're dating me, you ought to know that if you're going to marry me, I I would want to have a ring because that is my ideal marriage love life. That is what I have known. That is what I have grown up seeing. So I do not know any different. But okay. you're wearing a, a ring on your ring. <laughs> because finger. they proposed sister, to me. My <laughs> sister. <laughs> my sister told me uh, because there's the myth that if you wear a ring and you're not married, that means you are it's bad luck, right? <laughs> but you see, my point is that, you see, for some women, or for all of us, we all carry, we all put sentiments to certain things. And I think it's important that you should own it if you want an engagement ring. Let it be known to the man who that you she, are yes. seeing yes. that yes. I want a ring. I want a Tiffany cut blue diamond ring. That is what I want. Thank you get, this problems. is what I want. Th because... You see, why shouldn't we? And yet, when we are graduating, we want to wear graduation gowns. I like Do you understand? Ladies, what I mean? Sarah's, I mean, Sandra is always ladies. looking at her ring, and you know, you see, make no, you this feel is proud. the thing. Yes, it, it is does. okay for us to attach sentiment to these things because they're important to us, because yes. they, they are 
they what is the word i'm trying to use the word it's like the identity yeah. you know it's, it's an yeah. identity it's identity yeah. love that you it's a love symbol so if somebody wants to have a ring have a ring yes and yeah. you have the latest well that's all we, we can go on and on this conversation shivan is all up there you know i love the interaction <laughs> thank you sarah thank you sandra for for the input and this lady concluded by saying one of the reasons also why proposals fail is if a man is trying to manipulate you after making you mad like sarah like sarah like sarah hinted on so yes if you want the dream talk to your man yeah and um relationships never end just because a man proposes to you in fact 30% relationships have actually been successful after a rejection well that's all i had for you in this first bit of wellness not wellness sorry our views shivan will be right back don't blink <laughs>